I went to Da Silvano's, which is one of the authentic Italian restaurants in New York. Silvano, who's the owner and the chef, he is quite a character. I went there to meet Marisa Marchetta, who is Silvano's wife. She was diagnosed with cancer five weeks before she was going to marry Silvano. And she wrote a book called The Cancer Vixen, and they're now making a movie about her, starring Kate Blanchett. The connection that Marisa and I have is that we are both people who have overcome something that is very difficult. Well, Marisa, thank you so much for coming. You've fought and overcome cancer. You are the cancer vixen. Mm -hmm. And I did lose my sight at juvenile diabetes, and I did have a kidney pancreas transplant, so I feel like wow. I overcame diabetes, you know? You know what I really like about you is that you're the anti Paula Dean. <laughs> Marisa knows what my palate is like when it comes to wine. Salute. Salute. A lot happens when you're tasting wine. When I taste a wine and begin to smell it, I disappear into the glass and I'm gone. Back to the vineyard. The violets are there. Must have been a lovely orchard <laughs> or a flower garden around where this, these wines are grown. And I can't decide if it's you or the wine that has the flowers. Yeah, I, <laughs> I smell flowers too. People say, oh, how can you smell wines and, you know, violets and wine? Where well, the vines are grown near olives, for example. You will taste olive oil in the wine. Nature will do a good job. Oh, I love that. I think that's <laughs> completely fascinating. So if you could taste the different notes in wine, can you taste the different ingredients in food? Sure, I can, you know, it's, I can definitely taste some things. It depends on how it's done, if it's well balanced. <laughs> <laughs> process of tasting steak or wine, it's the same process. So Silvano came out and very generously made us a secret steak with secret sauce. Here I come, ready or not. I cannot wait. That looks beautiful, but I'm not going to say what it does. <laughs> wow. But it smells amazing. So much like wine, I have my process, you know, I like to deconstruct what I'm eating and tasting and to see if it comes together in that symphatic, perfect way. So what I do is that I just smell. So I'm smelling kind of a little bit of a toasted smell along with a bit of sweetness. I mean, I can smell the fat from the meat, which sounds terrible, but it's really good. The odors that are coming off it are just incredible. And there's something in there that I want to taste because I can't quite get it with my nose. Mm. The sauce really makes this steak so delicious. It's an experience that you have to savor. There's that sweetness that I have to assume is comes from a balsamic vinegar. Or all right. Mm -hmm. Is it in a sauce of garlic or shallots or both? The shallots, we got it. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Those, those flavors all really came bursting through. So can you taste the difference between where the balsamic vinegar comes from? You know it's aged because of that intensity. How aged is this balsamic vinegar? 25 to 30 years. Wow. Ah. You know, it comes together in that perfect orchestration. You have the sweetness, and then you can taste the shallots, and then you have the steak flavor that really just made mm -hmm. the nice, nice little have... bit of fat that makes it good. Yep. Yeah. It's really <laughs> yeah. delicious. Deconstructed is just as good as reconstructed. <laughs> All right, right. Yeah, cheers. Salute. Thank you so much. This was really special. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you.